Don't say that. And he will draw close to you. He will draw close to you. Mm-hmm. And you know what, Judah? When I first learned that verse a long time ago, I learned it in a different version, and it said, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. It means the same thing. Can you say, draw near to God? Draw near to God. Mm-hmm. One of the things that prompted my interest in doing Bible memory challenges for Timberline was really simply my own desire to be challenged and to challenge myself. Um, I've always enjoyed memorizing, and I know perhaps it might come easier for me than for some people, but I've always, I've always liked that challenge, and f from way back when I was doing it, I always loved how God would use those verses to come back around and bring them to mind when I needed them, or even sometimes just having them, like when those verses are used in, an, in another sermon or something, I don't remember word for word all the verses I've memorized, but as they're being spoken and used in a sermon or something like that, like it just comes to mind and I can sort of mouth the rest of the verse along with it. Um. That was important uh, to us at the church, uh, at Bart Mennonite Church. Lois um, Bontrager, our pastor's wife, was just really faithful with encouraging the children to memorize. And uh, the organization that she um, drew material from had this book. It was an ABC book. And then each one of the letters, each one of the alphabet, had a verse, you know, that started the first one with A, the first word, the second, the second one, the first word with B and C, and uh, the little pictures that went with the verse. It was really a, a very sweet little ABC book and a wonderful way to just to learn those scriptures. So I would say pretty much through elementary school, we were uh, doing Bible memory that Lois Bontrager was encouraging us to do and uh, just really enjoyed it and uh, Lisa was very good with you know memorizing and so we had made fun out you know it was a fun thing to do and um, just did it I'd say probably randomly throughout the day or mainly maybe at bedtime we would review them. So another one of the reasons why I wanted to do this over the, the years was for the sake of my kids. Um, when I was a kid and would memorize verses, um, it oftentimes was through school. I went to a private Christian school and part of what we had to do was memorize verses. And having my kids in public school, I knew that they weren't going to get it there. And so I wanted to make sure that they would um, have a chance or have the challenge of memorizing. Psalm 147, 11. The Lord is pleased with those who worship him and trust his love. Romans 6, 13b. Surrender your whole being to him to be used for righteous purposes. Psalm 25, 14. Friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence him. James 4, 8. Draw close to God and he will draw close to you. Mark 12, 30. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. 
Hebrews 13 5 for God has said I will never leave you I will never abandon you so one of the things um, that has always made it easier for me to memorize again is to have a specific challenge a specific way to do your memorization. Now before I started doing the challenges for Timberline, um, I just did this through finding somebody else that wanted to memorize. I had a friend, one of the first times that I memorized like a big chunk, we memorized the whole book of James together, which is just five chapters, so it's not like Jeremiah with 30 chapters or whatever, but um, we memorized the whole book of James and we did it over the course of a year, which actually was really great because it, those are the verses that have really stuck with me. Um, so find someone to memorize with you. And it wasn't always the same person. Over the years, um, I had a couple of different people that I would memorize with from time to time. Um, but that's one thing that made it more doable for me. And then obviously when I began to do the challenges, then I had lots of people to share it with. Um, but that's one thing that always helped me. Another thing that um, helps me is to have, I'm sort of more of a visual learner, so I like to see the verses, and this is why I always print them up the way I do, I like to see the verses in phrases, like that's how I memorize best, and if I'm looking at it as I'm working on it, that helps me. So figure out what works for you. If you're an auditory learner, then record yourself saying it or someone else saying it and listen to it over and over again. Um, if you're the kind of person that it would help to have motions, figure out some things that you can do with your hands that go with some of the key words and do it that way. There's lots of different ways to do it. For me, it was always visualizing it. And before I started doing it for Timberline, I would simply write it out on a, on a note card. I would write it out, but I would write it out in phrases so I could sort of think in terms of um, you know, the phrases going together. And then sometimes I would look at words that sort of fit together and well there's a couple different words that start with R in that one. Um, like the verse Psalm 25 14, friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence him. Well reserved and reverence are sort of similar so that made that easier. The, um, yeah, it, it may not come right away. Actually probably won't be easy. But if we can take the work of it out of our minds and just enjoy leaning into it. And I believe that everyone can find some way that your memory is going to work, mm -hmm. that you can do it with the memory that you have. Just yeah, and take your time. And you know, if you, read, if you memorize one verse, that's good. You know? uh, and admit that that's all you know and uh, go from there. So if you're somebody that says it's really hard for me to memorize and I just don't know if I can do this, um, I would just encourage you to keep those verses in front of you and just take one, either one section at a time or one verse at a time and even just simple repetition over and over again will do a lot to get that verse stuck in your head and you might be surprised at how you can almost say it without even thinking about it after you've done that for a while. Um, I've had a, a group of verses, probably five or six different references that are maybe three or four verses long. And over the years, they are verses that for a time, I was just saying one of them every night before I went to sleep. And it, at, at some point it was just reading them. So the simple repetition of just reading through one of those sets of verses each night. Um, just the simple repetition over time really did set those verses in my head. And I think I could probably say them now. I'm never good at memorizing the references, so I might have to look a little bit in my Bible to find them. Um, but I could say those verses not because I ever set out to memorize them, but simply from the repetition. So even if you think you can't memorize, if you go over it long enough, it's going to be sticking there. And even if you can't say, well, I know. Romans 8, 38, if, you, if someone would start it for you, you could probably finish it for them. So that's one of the cool things about memorizing, too.
So at some point, I started keeping track of our Bible memory challenges on my computer. Um, I'm not sure it was at the very beginning though, but the earliest one that I had written down was in 2004. So some of you have been memorizing for a really long time. And there are some people here that have done probably just about all of them. If you memorized all of the verses that I have kept track of, and I might have missed some, um, I added them up and it comes out to 388. So that's pretty awesome for those of you that have taken that challenge. And even if you didn't do all of them, you've had a chance to get a lot of verses into your heart and into your heads. So kudos to you.